the girl on fire. Hunger Games star Jennifer Lawrence has confirmed leaked nude photos claiming to be her are her. So has horror movie actress Mary E. Winstead, who tweeted, I can only imagine the creepy effort that went into this. Model Kate Upton, a victim too. Three of perhaps many more celebrities whose Apple iCloud accounts were allegedly hacked, personal photos and videos possibly stolen from their photo stream feature. We take user privacy very seriously, Apple said in a statement. Besides the hackers, no one knows for sure how those celebrity photo stream accounts got hacked. But one security strategist with 15 years of experience walked me through a few possibilities. One is... What we call the brute force attack of your iCloud account. So brute force attack means someone is guessing your password. And there is a loophole in Apple is Apple cannot detect it in this moment. In a brute force attack, a hacker tries thousands of times to guess your password over and over until they guess the right one. Some analysts believe this may be what happened with Lawrence and other celebs. Another possibility, infection with malware. So that will help to record all the things you press on the phones, such as we call it the key lockers. The other way is it may be uh, ways to send over all your contact lists. This way, the program could have recorded passwords as users typed them in. The problem could also be weak passwords. Get this, in 2013, the two most popular passwords were 123456 and password. The number one problem in this moment is a lot of, pe a lot of people, because for the ease of memorizing the data and also for easy to access the system, a lot of them are using the common password across multiple systems. And also may they not change, regularly change the new password. You've heard it time and again. Use uppercase, lowercase digits and symbols to make it harder for hackers to guess. Now, for argument's sake, let's say there was a hole in Apple's iCloud photo stream feature. On your iPhone or your iPad, you can simply turn it off. Go to your settings, then scroll to iCloud. Scroll to photos, then turn off photo stream. One thing, this deletes all your photo stream photos, so back those up. You can also set up two-factor authentication with a password and a PIN. That PIN is temporary and sent to you via message to a trusted device. Log into your Apple ID online. Choose password and security. Then at two-step verification, hit get started. So in case there's a hole in the iCloud, that'll go some of the way to make sure your private life doesn't go public.